So the next thing that happened on Monday Night Raw, it was the main event. It was the eight-man tag team match. But before I talk about that eight-man tag team match, we got to talk about everything else that happened backstage. So uh, Rhea Ripley was going to have an interview and stuff. And then she was talking about how she had dropped the dead weight. Pretty much having tag team partners that holds her back and everything. But then we seen Liv Morgan attacking Rhea Ripley backstage, beating her down and stuff. And that's what happened back there. But then we get to the next segment where we got uh, Kevin Owens and Seth Rollins talking. Rollins comes up to Owens, and Owens is like, I didn't forget about last week and all that. And then Usos comes up, and Usos says, uh, y'all make sure that we don't lose the tag team match because the Tribal Chief will be upset if we do. So yeah, that's what they said. And then Rollins puts his arm over Owens and stuff, and then Owens was like, nah, get, get off of me. Get on somewhere. So yeah, Owens is still pissed off at Rollins. But then we get to the next segment, Omos at MVP, and Omos, at Omos challenges Bobby Lashley to a match at WrestleMania Backlash. So yeah, that challenge, that challenge got set out. And then we finally get to the main event. It was Cody Rhodes, Ezekiel, and the WWE Raw Tag Team Champions, Randy Orton and Riddle, RK Bro, versus Seth Rollins, Kevin Owens, and the WWE SmackDown Tag Team Champions, Jimmy and Jay, the Usos, in a eight-man tag team match. So, yeah, it was a pretty good eight-man tag team match. At the ending of this match, we seen Randy Orton tagged in. It was Orton and Jay Uso that was the uh, men that was legal in this match. Orton going crazy and everything inside the ring, which was pretty good. But then, at the ending, we seen, um, we seen Seth Rollins, well, we seen Randy Orton try hit, about to hit up hit the RKO onto Jey Uso, setting up for it, but then Rollins comes up and attacks Orton from behind, and then that's when Cody Rhodes comes in and springboard off the second rope with a disaster kick onto uh, Seth Rollins, and then Rollins walked right into RKO after that, getting laid out, and then we see Kevin Owens get into the ring, he hits a super kick on Cody Rhodes, knocking him out of the ring, and then he was trying to hit the stunner onto Randy Orton, but Randy Orton pushes him into Ezekiel, and Ezekiel Punches him in the face. Kevin Owens then turns around. He gets hit with RKO as well. And then Jimmy Uso comes in. Uh, super kicks uh, Ezekiel. Knocking him out of the ring. And that's when Riddle comes in. Hits that jumping knee to the face. Onto Jimmy Uso. And then Jimmy Uso bounces from the ropes. He comes back and Riddle throws him up in the air. And that's where Randy Orton hits RKO. onto Jimmy Uso. And then we see Jey Uso jumping off the top turnbuckle. Uh, and then he gets hit with RKO as well. So, yeah, every single body on the other side got hit with RKO. And then Randy Orton pins Jey Uso for the one, two, three. So, yeah, uh, RK Bro, Cody Rhodes, and Ezekiel defeated the Usos, Kevin Owens, and Seth Rollins tonight in the eight man tag team match. Pretty good match. If you have yet, go check out that match. For that match, I'll give it three and a half stars. That's why I'll give it. Pretty good stuff, and it was great to see Randy Orton pretty much picking up the win after spending 20 years on the main roster. So, yeah, pretty good stuff. If you have yet, go check it out. But, yeah, uh, great match, like I said. So, yeah, uh, like, subscribe. Subscribe to Team W Wrestling on YouTube. Um, subscribe to World of Chris, and subscribe to this channel as well on YouTube and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and I'll be down there in the description box. And yeah, for tonight's Monday Night Raw, I'll give it a I'll give it eight out of ten stars as well. I'll give it this Monday Night Raw has been has been pretty good. Uh I think in my opinion it was probably better than uh Raw after WrestleMania because this one had a good amount of returns. Now I was hearing rumors that Kane was gonna be doing stuff, but of course he didn't it was great to see Moose, uh, Mustafa Ali make his return, beating Miz and stuff. Uh, great to see Asuka making her return. Like I said, I already talked about the eight-man tag match, uh, which was pretty good. Um, and then Damian Priest versus Finn Balor was all right. And Bianca Belair versus Sonya Deville just keep on going on with that feud. Um... Omos and Bobby Lashley in the arm wrestling match. Like I said, we haven't seen an arm wrestling match in a while. It was great to see that, I guess. Um, and let's see, what else? The mixed tag team match from earlier, I didn't care for that. It was just filler. But, um, oh yeah, in the segment from that kicked off Raw tonight with uh, Randy Orton's 20th anniversary celebration. That was great as well. If, if you have yet, go check out that video package because WWE done 
Like they was they did really go in that video package for Randy Orton. So yeah, um, tonight's Monday Night Raw. Like I said, eight out of ten stars. If you have yet, go subscribe to all my channels and follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Like I said, it'll all be down there in the description box. And yeah, that has been my WWE Monday Night Raw, April twenty fifth, twenty twenty two reviews. And yeah, I'll see you guys later for this Wednesday's AEW Dynamite reviews. See you guys later. Until then.